I mentioned the latex expressions. Latex is a typesetting language. It's a series of symbols that lets you write rather complicated mathematical expressions, along with a lot of other things. You could look up latex and learn some different formulas and expressions. You could use the expressions that are here on this page. But what if you want to create your own? The easiest way to do that is with math type because math type will export latex expressions. So if we go to math type and let's make some kind of expression, let's say I want to set up whatever expression I want in math type. So I'm going to, uh, I'll do a parentheses, uh, let's put a full parentheses in there and let's make a fraction. This will be x squared plus 1, and the bottom will be x minus 3. Okay, so this is the expression that I want to copy and paste into the latex box in GMath for Google Drive. What I have to do in math type is I have to go to the preferences, and I have to select the cut and copy preferences. You pull up this box and you want to click on math ml or latex you can leave this as latex 2.09 and later that's just about the version what's important is that you make sure that both of these checkboxes are cleared you want to make sure that neither of those has a check next to them this should be something you only have to do once the first time you set your preferences and you say this is these are my preferences and then you're done Click OK. Now I select what I want. So I'm going to select this whole thing. I copy it. And it's copied the latex expression, not just this picture. It's copied the expression. So now I go into my GMath. I go into this box right here and I paste it. And there's the latex language that's going to give me what I just had. I preview. And sometimes I've noticed this, that math type includes this weird math op thing there. But it's easy enough to go in and just backspace on that. Include the little slash in front of it. I preview it. And that's what I wanted. That's what I just had in my math type. I insert it this way. You can also copy and paste images from MathType, but I've had a lot of trouble getting those into Google Drive, so I think this is probably a better solution. It's also a little bit more flexible because now I look at this and say, oh, whoops, that's not supposed to be x minus 3, that's supposed to be x minus 5. I can fix it right here. Here's my x minus 3. I make it x minus 5. I preview it, and I can insert it again, and now I've fixed my limit expression there, and I can get rid of the old one by just clicking Delete. 